This airplane and this demonstration are one you don't want to miss. Move up to the bench, ladies and gentlemen. If you're a Vietnam vet, fair warning, this is going to be a familiar sound. This was the airplane that chased the A-4, the A-7, the F-8, the B-52, and the F-100, and the F-105 all around the skies. But its arch nemesis was none other than the F-4 Phantom II. I'm talking about the big 17 that is now on takeoff roll. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Randy Ball at Fighter Jets Incorporated's Big 17 full aerobatic demonstration. Watch and feel the afterburner of this Vietnam era jet as Randy Ball lifts off and into the hearts of Rhode Island Air Show fans right here, right now. entered service, it was the tightest turning fighter in the world. When it started production back in 1950, the VK-1F engine made it one of the first production jet fighters in the world with that afterburner. The MiG-17 could carry bombs, rockets, extra fuel tanks under the wings, whatever it needed to get the job done. Randy Ball with the MiG-17, now from the right, welcome him folks, it's his debut performance in Rhode Island. The MiG-17, in addition to the bombs, the extra rockets, and the fuel, when it lowered the nose, well, did it carry a gun. My goodness, a huge gun, two, in fact, 23-millimeter cannons and one 37-millimeter cannon. That's why they feared it so much. Watch now as Randy sets up for his next pass here at the 17. This is going to be the inverted pass. Riding it quickly. The MiG-17, although it is feared, is a beautiful airplane in flight. The lines of the swept wing MiG-17 make it so distinguishable in the air. Follows on the points of the MiG-15, but then the afterburning engine came in. Maximum speed of 715 miles an hour. That's Mach 1.04 can be achieved. It wasn't until the F-16 came online that a jet could turn this tight. Watch as Randy Ball sucks himself into the seat. An approximate 8G turn right now, eight times his normal body weight. Come on, Rhode Island, give it up for Randy Ball. The big was a nimble fighter. An absolutely a deadly one at that, with respect to all the pilots that were shot down by the MiG, including those in our United States Navy and Air Force. One moment's complacency, what in the air with the MiG could be fatal. Flown by over 20 countries, three of which still operate this airplane today. Because of its famous heritage and its great maneuverability, it makes it one of the best air show jets in the world, as you can see, able to stay right in front of the crowd at all times. Randy's jet spent four years in restoration and is one of only a handful of vintage jets flying in North America's air show circuit today. It does have an authentic paint scheme, and it's the only MiG that's available now with fully restored guns. That's right, watch Randy now as he brings the heat of the MiG-17. He's setting up now for one of his trademark passes. Right down on the deck, 
Watch it, Rhode Island. This is what separates the men from the boys. It makes Randy Ball a crowd favorite. He's now going to light that afterburner and shoot straight up into the stars. Now, Rhode Island, do you want to see Randy Ball light this thing up and bring it by for the high-speed pass? Come on! This is going to be the moment we've all been waiting for when Randy kicks this thing into afterburner. Now, keep in mind, this jet was designed in the 1950s. This was the one that flew in the skies over Vietnam and chased the F-4 Phantom and so many more. Randy Ball, though, does such a nice job with this airplane. Service ceiling, this is how high it can fly, around 53,000 feet, 715 miles an hour. The engine that's in there is the BK-1F afterburning engine, 7,400 pounds of sound today. We couldn't do it because it blew all the windows out of the control tower and all of your cars. You don't want to do that. Here it comes again, though, with a nice photo pass. Randy Ball coming back from the right with the big 17. Look right below the tower. Do you see it? Here he comes, right around the corner. Rolling it up on the wing. Stand and make some noise for Randy W. Ball. The MiG-17 made its way into history as one of the most versatile fighters from that era, the 1950s. The pilots who flew the F-4 absolutely hated that thing. Randy does such a nice job with it, though. Our thanks to Randy and, of course, to Air Wisconsin. Randy's sponsor. Couldn't do it without him. If you want to find out about how to sign up, I should say, with Air Wisconsin, 
get on out there and do it today. You can visit their website at fly the number four aw.com. That is www.fly the number four aw.com. A fifty-seven thousand dollar signing bonus. Now, Major, don't be listening to this. Major Morris is standing right here to tell us about it. Again, $57,000. Goodbye and meet Randy. They're there at the Air Wisconsin's airline booth today. You can ask them about flying the big, which is now almost back on the ground. Watch him as he settles in on the runway here. Now, the runway at Rhode Island, a little bumpy, and we'll see this big 17 touch down ever so smoothly. And you'll watch the nose here as it rumbles down the runway here. Come fly, though, with Randy Ball in Air, Wisconsin, his title sponsor. They're hiring pilots. They're hiring just about everybody. Come and join that dynamic team that flies nationwide. Fly the number four, aw.com. Fly the number four, aw.com. Randy Ball and the Big 17. Hey, Mark Murphy, how are you, buddy? You just... You just land a Corsair and you're eating a cheeseburger. The diet of champions, right? That is the life of an air show. That's the life of an air show pilot. The judge got the best of them down there, I'm telling you, man. Go by and grab one of those cheeseburgers for yourself. You'll be glad you did it. Good stuff there for self. Mark, nice job in the uh, John Glenn Corsair. Wonderful job there, buddy. Oh, thank you. It was uh, a perfect day out there. The winds were calm.